Hello everyone, Hank Miller with the Hank Miller team back out on the uh, back deck and uh, as usual just want to throw another video put together here real quick on rising interest rates specifically the brutality of rising interest rates and the speed at with which they're rising just as a point of reference it's March 25th right now uh, rates were sitting at 4.72 today it's bonkers all right I'm not an economist don't pretend to be and wouldn't want to be anyway uh, but since January uh, we've had about a 1.25 to 1.35 uh, increase in rates uh, the Fed this this transitory inflation it's nonsense it's not transitory it's here to stay uh, and the Fed is tasked with reducing the uh, reducing the impact um, which means we're going to see the Fed increase rates. Um, some experts, and I use that word loosely, but these are the guys that do this stuff. Uh, we were expecting the year end to be about at a 4.5%, 4.6% mortgage rate. Um, we're already blown by that. Like I said, 4.72 uh, this morning on a conventional fixed 30. Um, so we could conceivably see uh five and a half six percent rates at the end of the year i don't know that that'll happen i don't think that'll happen but the fed is expected to do a half a point bump at the next meeting and a half a point bump after that so we could see by summer another point over where we are now which would put us firmly into the fives so when we get a mortgage increase uh, the rate increase it's across the board and it hurts everyone not everyone the same but it kills a lot of buyers especially those first timers or the guys with uh, high uh, debt to income uh, ratios that are sitting on the edge um, point increase is significant and it could knock a lot of first-time buyers out and put them right back onto that renter uh, hamster wheel uh, rule of thumb again rule of thumb is that for every one percent increase on a mortgage you lose about 10%, 11% uh, of purchase power. So in other words, that $500,000 house that had a 3% mortgage on it, rates go to 4%. Now I'm buying 10%, 11% less. Knocks me down into the 450 range. So buyers right now have to take measured risk. I know the theory, and again, we're March uh, 22. I'm an appraiser. I'm sensitive to all of the markets and, and, the, and the trends and the ebbs and flows. Everybody seems to be thinking that the spring market's going to uh, drop an immense amount of inventory on us. I'm not so sure. And again, I'm not so sure that it's going to make a difference with pricing. I think prices are going to continue to rise. And inventory that does come on is going to get scooped up. There's a lot of buyers sitting right now kicking themselves in the butt that they missed the, uh, the chance to buy when the rates were lower. All right, I mentioned measured risk. Measured risk in my mind is not being stupid, not just overpaying for a house, but evaluating each situation and each uh, contract. In some cases, you may need to do an appraisal waiver. In some cases, you may need to do appraisal gap coverage. In some cases, you may need to do away with formal due diligence and go with an inspection to uh, an amendment to inspect, which allows you to do an inspection, but doesn't allow you that full uh, due diligence period. Uh, you may have to put more earnest money down. There's a lot of things that may have to be done, and I'm calling that measured risk because the conventional, uh, uh, here's my price, here's my terms, I hope you like it, you're not going to get anything done. Uh, that's just the way the market is now. Nothing I can do about it. I'm not a fan of it. I like old school where I pick and choose my battles and, and uh, you know we win and I still preserve all of my buyers uh, protections uh, that's not the case right now it's simply not the case as much as I'd like it to be it's not and when we write those kind of offers and we have buyers that don't want to consider you know measured risk I keep using that term they're not getting deals done don't be stupid but together with me and, and, and my buyers and whatnot, we look at the data and, and we evaluate where we can push. I will always try to leave the back door and, and an escape hatch. But in some cases, buyers need to, to make a decision that now's the time I'm going to buy. This is a good house. This is the market. Let's just get it done. 
So this is not gonna be one of those crazy 20-minute uh, videos. The point of all this is, if you're a buyer, and many of you are my buyers, don't think anything is going to major change in the spring. I think we'll see more inventory, but there are so many buyers and so many amped up buyers now because of the rate increases that they're jumping in and it's like, forget it. I'm done. Next house, I'm going to I'm gonna get it and that's it. I'm getting off this hamster wheel. So yes, spring market's coming. We're starting to see it a little bit, but there's still an, a massive amount of buyers out there. So you're still going to see competitive, uh, you're still going to see competitive situations. So think about what you can flex on when the right house comes along. Don't stand on ceremony. I get it, believe me, I'm, I'm the most prideful guy there is. I, I, I sometimes cut my nose off to spite my face, but I will never lose a deal for a client. And there are times when I say, let's just get it done. Let's just get it done. I wouldn't put anyone into a bad situation. But we have to be cognizant of these rate increases because they're going to cut purchase power. So that's it. I want you. Uh, I want you buyers to just understand. This is. Uh, these are crazy times. It's still a crazy market. It probably will be. It's a very turbulent time. Uh, I would think rates will probably end up around five, five and a quarter, uh, and we'll go from there. And I think the market will stabilize because rates will, uh, you know, bump up a little bit. They were too low. They were artificially low, and and we'll find that balance. Uh, I still think there's going to be a shortage of inventory. Hopefully it won't be as severe, but if you're in the market to buy a house right now, pick the right house, pick the right area, understand you're gonna pay retail, no one's giving anything away, that's your risk. That's the takeaway from this video. All right, Hank Miller, Hank Miller team, 678-428-8276. You know where to find me. After this will be another uh, another uh, screen of, uh, of info. You call, we answer, blah, 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 blah. Anytime, anywhere. Thanks, guys.